So guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back at Tommy Thompson Park. It's been, I guess, three, four weeks now since I was last here and things have definitely changed, although we're going through quite a warm spell at the minute this week, so I've just got the t-shirt on now. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice to just be back here, just seeing what's about really. Uh, at the moment, I've seen quite a lot of nice smaller birds, kinglets, um, a lot of chickadees and a few other bird species. So just gonna spend the whole day here, stay here till quite late, and hopefully we'll get some action later on. Just spotted a red-tailed hawk up in a tree. Um, it's a bit silhouetted, but I'm gonna have a quick look and see if I can get a good shot of him. So we've currently got a red-tailed hawk just up in this tree here, um, just hunting from the top of there down to this long grass. Seems quite habituated to my presence, which is really, really good. But anyway, gonna get back to it. Well, that was absolutely amazing. I just stayed here with that red-tailed hawk and it literally dived down off that tree and then went straight down in amongst this uh, undergrowth here. Heard it crashing through the um, dried grass and sticks, hit something straight up and then flew into a tree over there to consume what it actually, uh, actually ate. But uh, oh, fantastic to see, it's so close. That's gotta be probably one of the most closest experiences I've ever had, really, with a bird of prey taking something right in front of me. But uh, yeah, literally another rabbit shot right across as soon as it went into the, uh, into the long grass. But uh, yeah, amazing. Um, just totally fixed on what it was trying to do, totally fixed on its prey. Absolutely fantastic. What a great experience. I've been here like 45 minutes already and I've seen a, a red-tailed hawk in action. So uh, yeah, fantastic. just next to this apple tree here and uh, there's tons of birds in there. No idea what they are, calling away really, really nicely. I don't know if you heard that then. Really, really nice call. Let's see if we can get a shot. Got some birds in here and it's like dead grass, but they're so busy seed heading all the um flower heads that they don't sit still and they're so well camouflaged <laughs> getting the focus point trained on them is really difficult such great fun just practicing on just random birds here i haven't really got very far from the car park here we go coming up it's so difficult for the af point to home in because they're so masked by bushes oh yeah Really good though. Not sure what birds they are, but uh, if anybody knows, please uh, let us know. Right, onward. Well, I didn't expect it to be so warm today sort of just over the middle of October um, but it's quite warm 
So I'm quite pleased really, it's quite nice. I did expect, when I did my last video here, that it'd be a lot colder and it has been really cold. But this is quite unseasonably warm this week, so I think I'll take that, you know. Don't want to get in the depths of winter too, too, too soon. But I'm um, in the colours at the moment. Still on all the trees there. Still got a lot of leaf on. But uh, I'm going to push on back now where I saw the osprey last time. Apparently they get a peregrine falcon that comes in there now and then, which would be great to see at close range. Um, but I'm going to push on and aim to get up to the top end where the lighthouse is and hoping to get um, set up there with a bigger lens in the back and hopefully for a, a harrier or something coming through hopefully all being well but yeah I'm just happy with the way things are going so far you know it's been great had lots of smaller bird species that I can't yet ID and uh, the red-tailed hawk which was cracking to see it hunt right in front of me anyway going to shut the mouth now go quiet and just enjoy this long straight path through the park. Well this is a cracking spot here just overlooking one of the like lagoon lake type things. There's loads and loads of waterfowl on the other side so I'm probably going to head around there. That sun will be in a better position and see if I can get some shots of some of the birds on the water. I've just seen a low-lying bird of prey going along the back there and they reckon on the east side is a pretty good side for the harriers and stuff. Um, it's a lot flatter, a lot less overgrown. Um, but I just had a snake go across the road in front of me. Quite a small snake in a massive hurry, just straight across. And there's also quite a few turkey vultures around circling overhead and they're quite, quite common here in, in Toronto area. So uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get a bit of video of those. But um, yes, yeah, plenty about still plodding along heading up the top end where I saw the osprey last time have a little break there have a bite to eat and then crack on from there so I was just chatting to some um, a British guy ex RAF not his fault um, and uh, no we're all good really I'm only messing um, and the northern harrow went right over the top um, R7 with the 100 to 500 failed to focus multiple times um, really bad it's been really poor today really really poor and I don't know why that is but I'm going to head round to the old dead tree where the osprey was see if I can get a shot of that duck and uh, yeah hopefully go find that harrier So some good news, just had a peregrine go right by, managed to completely miss it with the R7 again. I've never known the R7 be that poor ever. Um, it just won't lock on to toffee. I've just gone back to the R3 with the, with the 500. Yes, it is better with the Prime than it is over the 100 to 500, but my God, it locked on it straight away at distance. It's just, yeah, really, really disappointing. Really, I'm, I've missed a couple of sitters there of the peregrine flying by, but good news. <laughs> Um, there's a small little spit of land that goes out and there's the harrier's been hunting up and down there I've got some really really distant footage of the harrier and you can see its white rump at its tail um, just hunting along the fringes there um, so I'm hopefully going to head up there and see if I can get along that little strip of land tuck myself away and hopefully with a bit of luck we might get a uh, you know a couple close shots of the harrier and maybe a little bit of video but um, yeah so uh, good news sudden bit of action there from uh, from the harrier and from the peregrine falcon
So I've now got the R3 onto the 500 now and I've just come over to this long thin stretch, like finger-like stretch of um, uh, just along the, the actual Lake Ontario. Um, but it's been basically, it's been hunting up and down this stretch here where this, where this little road is. There's a lot of nice stuff in here, lots of bird species in there and it's been hunting along here and I've just seen it go all the way up through here and all the way out to the other end there. So. I'm just going to tuck myself in here, hoping the Harrier will come around for another sweep and uh, might get a few shots. I've got a bit of distant video. You can see the white rump uh, in the distance. It's a pretty shocking bit of video, but you get the idea. And I'm hoping if I can tuck myself away here, maybe get myself into a position to get some shots of my first proper Northern Harrier. But uh, yeah, we shall see. My legs are killing me. I've probably done, must be eight, 10 K today. And that bag is um, weighing quite a bit. So, and I've got a crick neck at the moment, which doesn't help and a bad back. So yeah, but hopefully I'll be rewarded. My efforts will be rewarded with maybe some views and maybe even some images of this lovely Northern Harrier. So guys, I'm all set up, hoping this Harry is going to turn up. Um, bit of a tricky position here, really. I'm shooting, as I said before, down that way. So I've got a cityscape in the background. So if I get a bird coming across, low over the top of this um, wildflowers, grass, then I'm going to probably get the, uh, the backdrop is going to be the city. So it's not much I can do. This is only not very wide and they seem to be hunting up and down this bit. It's quite nice just in here as well, this little bit here, which is quite good, but I can't literally face this way due to the sun being in my, uh, in my eye. So I'm going to get a pretty silhouetted shot. Here I've got another little strip going down, but there's a little lagoon in there, so I can't go in there either. So I'm kind of stuffed and over the other side there, there's too much tree cover. So I wouldn't be able to pick the bird out approaching. So yeah, it's really quite difficult in here. There's a lot more tree cover than I thought, but this, to be honest, is probably the best bit we've got so I'm gonna to have to go with uh, if I do get the chance of getting the bird they're gonna to have to go with it with the city in the background but you know go with what we can go with and uh, yeah hope for the best no guarantees it's gonna turn up I've seen it here twice now today you know I could be in luck I might not so we shall sit and wait and see what happens So I've just had a Merlin absolutely gun its way through and I think it was a Merlin. I've taken a few images on the back, probably about four or five, if not more. And I think it could be a juvenile stroke female Merlin, but I'm gonna have to definitely check that when I get home. But um, great to see, it just came bombing right through. I was just chatting to a chap and I saw it coming, quickly got back to the camera, typically, and then I fired off some shots. So I'm really hoping that that's a Merlin. Obviously these these things don't hang around, they are rapid. Um, it came straight through really, really low, like a missile, straight in, straight over the top, and then it just disappeared. So I'm really, really hoping I've captured a half decent in-flight shot image. Um, I've got about an hour to go now, and the light is beautiful. It's really, really nice. It's got lovely casting, a nice, light, nice lot of light over this dead stuff here. Um, and I'm really, really hoping um, we get a, uh, a Harrier come through. I said I saw a glimpse of that Northern Harrier this morning, which is a first for me, and I'm really hoping we get to see it close quarters. And uh, I just chatted to a chap here who actually I met on the Facebook page. I just um, seen him and he said he saw a short eared owl here two weeks ago, um, which would be awesome. But hey, I'm just happy to see the Harrier today. If that turns up, I'm a happy man. But uh, yeah, back to it, another hour to go, and then time to head back. So guys, that's pretty much it for me. Spent seven and a half hours here today, seen red-tailed hawk, Cooper's hawk, peregrine falcon, Merlin, Northern Harrier, Kestrel, 
loads of smaller bird species, seen mink as well. It's been a really, really good day. Sadly, no amazing pictures. Got a couple close shots of the red-tailed hawk, which was nice. And I had that experience with it hunting really, really close to me. So that was absolutely superb. It's been a really, really good day and I've really enjoyed it. It's great to be out for a full day. I uh, got a 45 minute walk, so a 5K hike all the way back now. So uh, hopefully I'll get to see some stuff on the way back. But I hope you enjoyed that guys. Lots more coming from me. If you could give us a thumbs up and a like and a comment, it's really much appreciated. And I always reply to every single comment and uh, you know, regardless of what it is. So please, if you could leave a comment, it's much appreciated. If you don't subscribe to the channel and you wanna give the channel a go, please click that all important subscribe button and click that bell to be notified of more vlogs coming out. But uh, from me on another beautiful place in uh, Canada, I'll see you next time.